This lesson is about word problems that involve the Pythagorean Theorem. You'll want to make sure you download the worksheet that's in the, hand, uh, in the video. You can use the link that is below in the description of the video itself. When it comes to doing word problems, one of the best strategies that I see students not using is drawing pictures. I'm not really sure why people are resistant to this, but as far as the different tricks of the trade, things that you can use, um, drawing pictures has got to be one of the best. And so I've left plenty of space on this particular handout for people to draw pictures as well as to show their work. And that's what's going to make this a nice resource to have in your notebook. So let's just jump right in. All of these involve the Pythagorean Theorem. Uh, and then I want to point out up here at the top is that you're not going to have a word problem say, okay boys and girls, this is where you're going to use the Pythagorean Theorem. The bottom line is you've got to be able to recognize that you're looking at a right triangle. And the way you're going to recognize that is through drawing pictures. Alright, enough pounding on that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first problem here. A ladder is leaning against a house. The base of the ladder is eight, free, <laughs> 8 feet from the house, and the top of the ladder rests against the house at a height of 12 feet. How long to the nearest tenth of a foot is the ladder? You don't have to be a fabulous artist, clearly. Okay, so here's our house. Here is the ladder resting against the house. Now as we go through and read the problem, it says the base of the ladder is 8 feet from the house. There you go. There's the 8 feet. And the top of the ladder rests 12 feet. So we can kind of see the 12 feet there. If we look at this, we have to be able to recognize this is a right triangle. And what we're looking for is the hypotenuse. And remember the hypotenuse is always the, um, the letter C in A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So I'm going to write A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And now I'm just going to fill in the numbers. 12 squared plus 8 squared equals C squared. 144 plus 64 equals C squared. 208 equals C squared. But 208 is not the answer. You've got to take the square root of both sides. The square root of C squared is C. And 208 square root, since the direction said to round off the answer to the nearest tenth, that means I'm going to probably get an ugly decimal number. And sure enough, this is what I get. 14.4 and then a few twos. So 14.4. 2, 2. If I'm going to be rounding off to the nearest tenth, that would be right here. So 14.4 feet. Word problems always require a label. Otherwise, we don't know if it's 14.4 kittens or 14.4 fire hydrants and so on. All right, let's look at the second problem. The uh, square root problems have a tendency to follow kind of the same pattern. So a ladder leaning against a house is probably one of the most common ones. Here's another one. Dusty School is three kilometers due north from his home. His friend Tim lives seven kilometers due west from his home. As the crow flies, how far is Tim's house from the school? All right. Here's Dusty's um, house tells us that the school is three kilometers due north. I'll just put a little rectangle for the school. His friend Tim is seven kilometers due west from his home. Due west just means like straight west. So seven kilometers and this is Tim's house. As the crow flies all that means is you're not walking 
on the streets and turning left and turning right. You're talking about just that straight line distance from Tin's house to the school. So again, what we're looking for is the hypotenuse, and this is a right triangle. So a squared plus b squared still applies. Seven squared plus three squared equals c squared. 49 plus 9 equals c squared. And what do we get here? 49 plus 9 is 58 equals c squared. And we take the square root of both sides. 58 square root, 7.61. Let's go ahead and round this off right here on the screen. 7.6. Oops, wrong one. 7.6, and again, it's a word problem, so we're going to put our label 7.6 kilometers. Now, both of these problems had it where you were trying to find the um, hypotenuse, the C side, as opposed to the A or the B. The next two problems here. I've put together, it's not the hypotenuse you're looking for. And again, drawing a picture will help you to see these. A 24 foot flagpole, you can draw the flag, there we go, gosh I'm an amazing artist aren't I? 25 foot uh, flagpole, no 24 foot fly, fly, flagpole <laughs> with a 25 foot guy wire. Okay, if you don't know what a guy wire, there it is. It's that wire that would support something tall, like a radio tower or a flagpole. How far from the base should the anchor for the guy wire be placed? They're talking about putting some sort of an anchor right there. So as you can see, again, it is a right triangle. And this time, they have given us the hypotenuse, so we are going to still be using a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but we're going to be very careful plugging in our numbers. I'm going to put 24 squared here. Oops, why am I writing c? And then we're going to put 25 squared here. Again, notice They've given us the hypotenuse, so I have to be very careful that I'm putting that number in the proper place in the equation. And it does not matter where I had put the 24 squared, I could have put it in for the A, I just chose to put it in for the B. Alright, 25 squared is 625, I have that one memorized. However, I don't have 24 squared memorized, so let's take a look. 24 times 24, 576. So a squared plus 576. So because we're looking for uh, one of the legs in this one, we have one extra step where we're going to have to get the a squared all by itself. We're going to have to subtract. And we get a squared equals 15 minus 6 is 9, and 11 minus 7 is 4. Aha! We have a nice perfect square. So a equals 7. And again, it is a word problem, so the answer is going to be 7 feet. So that part right there, the anchor would be placed 7 feet away from the flagpole. And we have one more problem. Let's take a look at this. And... Alright, so looking at problem 4, a rectangle has a length of 21 centimeters and a diagonal of 29 centimeters, how wide is the rectangle? All right, let's take a look at this one. First of all, it says it's a rectangle, so I'm drawing a rectangle. It has a length of 21 centimeters. When they tell you it's the length, that would be the longer side of the rectangle. 
the diagonal is 29 centimeters. And we want to know how wide is the rectangle. So we are actually looking for, okay, so once again, we have ourselves a right triangle and it's kind of hidden inside this rectangle. So you really have to be on your toes and paying attention, but there it is. And once again, because it is the right triangle, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared. Wow, my computer's having a hard time keeping up. Equals c squared. And once again, they've given us the hypotenuse, so I have to make sure I am sticking that uh, 29 in the proper spot goes where the C is. And this time, you know what, I'll go ahead and put 21 squared in for the A. It does not matter with the legs, they are interchangeable. 21 squared, 21 times 21 is 441. Plus B squared and 29 squared. 841. That was squared there. And again, because it's the leg that's missing, we have that extra step where we have to rearrange the equation somewhat. Aha, square root of 400. Now, don't rush right to your calculator to do this. The square root of 4 is 2, right, this 4 right here. There's two zeros here, so I'm just going to take one of them off, and I'm going to get 20. So the width of this rectangle is 20 centimeters. So draw pictures, draw pictures, draw pictures and be on the lookout for right triangles.